50 years ago, a quiet classroom was a productive classroom. You know, all the kids were in their, their seats in rows doing something, and there was no noise in the classroom to speak of, except for the scratching of pens or pencils on paper, and, and that was considered productive. Um, I don't necessarily view productivity the same way. Um, to me, productivity may be sharing ideas, it may be um, grappling with, with some difficult concepts, it may be uh, students helping themselves to understand, and their colleagues to understand things in ways that perhaps simply my talking at them uh, or them reading would, would not do. And, and, and so the computer is a tool to help aid that. The teacher is the facilitator. The teacher knows some stuff, but the world is your classroom and you have access to all this information. And I think we need to think about our curricula, not just in history, but in all disciplines. How do we better leverage the educational possibilities. I think that that's very important, that students recognize there are a hundred ways of using your computer to store data, to analyze data, and you never have to print it out. We'd like to them to actually create public service announcements or small documentaries or teaching um, aspects that can be used in the school, either um, through the news program, 600 Seconds and Cast News, or um, last year, for example, my environmental students made teaching videos for sixth grade and some seventh grade students um, for building small herb gardens based on cultural, um, cultural books they were reading. So I, I think if we're using technology to do the same things that we've done for the past 50 years in the classroom, that that's a mistake.